Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So, today we are going to learn basics of 8086. This video is for all of you all who want to start learning 8086. I am going to show you what are the size of its buses, address bus, data bus, its control bus. Based on the size, what is the implication on memory, data transfer rates, how control signals are generated and based on that, how operations are performed like memory read, memory write, etc. Moreover, from the size of the address bus, how do you determine the size of memory? Yes, as a beginner student who started to learn 8086, you would have read it. 8086 can access 1 MB memory. Where does that 1 MB come from? Any computer accesses a certain amount of memory. The size of that memory directly depends upon the size of the address bus. Your own phone in which probably you are watching this video. Uh, when you buy the phone, it comes with internal memory of let's say 64 GB or 128 GB and it clearly says expandable up to 256 GB or 1 TB etc. As an inquisitive student, as a curious student, you should get this question in your mind. Why is it expandable only up to 256 GB? What decides that size? That's what I'm going to teach you in this video, size of the address bus and its implication, how to decide the size of the memory. I'm going to show you what is the difference between 8086 and 8088 processor, its lower version. Finally, we're going to see some important points which a student must know and always remember while learning theory answers. There are two very important rules. These are rules which form the platform for learning all bigger topics. Okay, So I'm going to isolate and teach you each of these rules, rules about memory. I'm going to show you a picture of how 8086 memory looks like, what is its first address, last address, how addresses move ahead, how data is stored in the memory, when you have a big size of data, how is that data stored in the memory and what are the rules followed, followed for it. Knowing all of this, is going to be the foundation for you to learn bigger topics of 8086. So I would want you to know and watch this video before you learn topics like addressing modes, instructions and programming. If you don't know these things, then all throughout learning those topics, you will keep getting these minor confusions because the foundation is missing. So that foundation will be laid in this video. That is the summary. That's what we're going to do in this video. Now, you want to watch this whole video and you want to learn all of 8086, my favorite processor. <laughs> Come to my website, www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. Over there, we've made video courses of all these processors, 8085, 8086, 386, Pentium, microcontrollers like 8051, ARM. I'm soon going to make a course on PIC. Uh, COA, computer organization, etc. We keep making courses as and when we possibly can. Uh, come to my website, register yourself as a user, select the 8086 course. This video will be there in, of course, the 8086 course. So select the course, click the subscribe button. Of course, there is a payment, but we've kept the payment as low as we possibly can so that the poorest of people can also afford. At the same time, this exercise is commercially viable for us to do. Okay. Besides the videos, there are about, what, 50, 55 videos in 8086 that covers everything, the whole uh, introduction, architecture, pins, um, timing diagrams, all of the theory topics, the whole instruction set, truckloads of programs, not only on the board, even on the simulator, which you need for practicals. Uh, you also get... PDFs with every video which covers the whole theory. So whatever I'm talking in the video from that whatever answers you need to write what diagrams you need all of that is there right above as you're watching the video right in front of you there will be a link called view notes you click that the notes for the particular topic will open so you can uh, make the topic sure in your head as you prepare for the exam once you have the whole answer in front of you. More than that, you also get PDFs of Viva questions, you get PDFs of MCQ, the new pattern that has come up. So thankful. Gone are the days where you know people had to write big answers, where students can mug up the answer and pour it out in the exam without really understanding the topic. Yeah, students think yeah, they've got marks, but who whose loss is it? At the end of the day, you got your degree, but you got no knowledge. That's that degree is not going to be of any use. In the first interview you give, it'll be clearly evident that the knowledge is missing. Now, because of the MCQ form format things have changed. Mugging up is not going to help you. The more you understand the topic, the better prepared you are for MCQ. And yes, we prepare you for those also. From simple to tough to really tough questions with answers of course are given in the MCQ PDF. And most importantly, you get direct access to me. This is my WhatsApp number. 
whenever you have a doubt once you become my student give me your registration number text me your doubt and that's it as soon as i'm free i will reply generally you get the reply immediately if i'm not doing anything at that time or if i'm busy shooting a video or conducting a class or a one to one call with a student as soon as i'm free you will get the reply for it okay hope to see you there wish you all the best enjoy learning see ya